Hi, hello guys, excellent slides here. This video will be really, really special because um, in this tutorial, we will together design this beautiful morph slide in PowerPoint. And right now I can show you how will it look. So as you can see, this is the first slide, 2020, the second slide, 2021, and the last slide, 2022. And as you can see here, these bars are increasing or decreasing and of course changing the color so in my opinion it looks really minimalistic but also really modern so without further ado let's get started so you need to create a new slide new slide of course you can get rid of those uh, of this default layout so layout and blank all right so I think we will start with this object. As you can see, this is a rectangle with rounded corners. So go to the insert shapes. And here in the rectangles section, you have normal rectangle, but also rectangle rounded corners. So let's select this one and let's create here this rectangle. Of course, you can modify the roundness by this orange oval but let's set it like here all right and of course as you can see the fill color is just pure white as our background but i've added a shadow so yeah so basically we will copy and paste this um, appearance as you can see this is already done um, the next thing is the title. As you can see, I used Poppins font. That's really easy, so I will just copy and paste it. As you can see here, for body text, I used gray color. Uh, for, for the title, I used this black, so not a pure black, but a little bit lighter black. And here, I decided to add this text box with morph and of course as you can see this is really really subtle and that's that's because uh, in text options of course this is filled with black color but I increased transparency by 95% as you can see uh, all right so the next thing um, are those bars as you can see so basically this one, uh, I will show you. Basically this one is also a white color with this shadow. And the next one, uh, yeah, and the next one is filled with gradient fill. Of course, two colors, the first, the second, and 130 degree. All right, of course, right here, uh, I typed like um, income and here costs uh, and of course also I used Poppins font with this lighter color and basically this will be the first slide and in the next slides these bars will be increasing or decreasing all right so now let's get um, to the photo as you can see uh, well let's paste it and as you can see there is a photo there is also this shape and there is also this um, 2020 just a year, right? So, uh, well, so the first thing is to select your photo. I will reset the picture. All right, so this is basically the photo, right? You need to create this kind of object. So go to the insert shapes here you have rectangle rounded corners so let's create it right here and of course you can modify the roundness but in this case let's set it like here so you need to position this photo right under this object so select as a first the photo and as a second your object 
go to the shape format, merge shapes and intersect. And you know, that's how to crop this picture to this object. But before that, we will just copy this object because it will be useful for the future. All right, and now let's paste this picture. Uh, let's paste this shape that I have already copied. Because um, in the, to this object, we will add gradient fill. So click here. And well, actually, these colors automatically were matched, but we need to change transparency. Because, you know, as default, transparency would be set to 0%. And then we cannot see the photo, as you can see. And therefore, you need to add some transparency, like 30% to the both colors. And of course, the last thing is to insert this text box, as you can see. Opens and 2020. Mm, all right, so let's de delete it and let's position it right here. And well, also I forgot about one thing. We need to add a shadow to this picture. So click on this object, format painter, and click on the photo. And as you can see, there, there is a subtle shadow. All right, let's position everything. Yeah, everything is fine. Uh, right now we can select all of those three shapes and group them so Ctrl and G as you can see. All right let's position it maybe um, right here and let's preview the first slide. Um, well I think it looks quite interesting so we need to create a duplicate of it so Ctrl and D and as you can see here there is a little bit different color so I will copy this one insert it here and you need to just select this gradient color format painter click format painter click uh, here we need to change 2021 and of course click format painter click and like i said before we need to add transparency 30 percent and here 30 percent but as you can see also the photo is still the same so we need to go here select the photo and just ctrl c to copy it now go to the original slide um, select this photo picture format change picture and from clipboard um well something is wrong i can uh, well let me check it actually you need to ungroup this um this group then you can control c this picture and now you can go to the picture format change uh, picture and from clipboard um well it still does not work so so the third version is to select the photo you need to copy it so control and c now you need to Ctrl and V, this picture right here, Ctrl C one more time, picture format, change picture and from clipboard and I think it will work now. Well, it still does not work so, so let me try it one more time, the last time. You need to, when I have this uh, picture pasted right here, I need to reset the picture, reset picture and size and I can just drag it right here send it to back of course we can change the size and now as a first select the photo and as a second this photo go to the um, and you need to basically intersect and as you can see now it work so we can also bring it forward because as you can see this rectangle was above the photo all right 
um, you can also select all of those and position them all right and the last slide control D mm, yeah this will be purple well purple and pink color so select it format painter click format painter click uh, here also 2022 click format painter and click and of course we need to change transparency to 30 percent as you can see 30 percent and of course we need to change the photo so yeah so let's select the original photo Ctrl C to copy it and here Ctrl V to paste it picture format reset picture reset picture and size position it right here uh, send it to back as a first select this photo and as a second that photo and intersect and of course we need to bring it forward and we are almost there the last thing is to group all of those shapes of course we can position it and ctrl g to group it the same thing here ctrl g and the same thing here select and ctrl g this is already grouped so we need to select all of those two slides go to the transitions and morph but as you can see nothing will happen as you can see so we need to change those bars so in this case let's um, increase it this one we can uh, let's say this is this this is decreased this one is increased and here we can play around with it a little bit and as you can see now if I preview the morph animation well actually morph transition everything is cool but this photo is not flying from the bottom or from the top so you need to select this group ctrl c go to the slide number five ctrl v and you, you need to position it to the bottom like here for instance uh, right now also ctrl c this group and ctrl v to paste it and position it here ctrl x to cut this green group go to the slide number four and ctrl v to paste it right here mm, you need to also select this group ctrl c go to the slide slide number five ctrl v but let's position it to the top like here and also once more select this group ctrl shift and drag it to the top ctrl x go to the slide number six and ctrl v so right now let's preview our animation our free slides so as you can see this is the first slide if i click the second slide and if i click the second time also 2022 and in my case it looks really interesting because you know this is really minimalistic but also here we have a photos uh, that are flying from the bottom to the right and in this case the first slide there is um, a lot of blue colors and also our bars are in these colors the next slide green also we have green and the last one uh, pink and um, violet and also we have those colors so basically that's all i'm i think you really liked this uh, video and it was really valuable for you uh, please make sure you have subscribed to the channel because then you will not miss out any of my future videos about PowerPoint, Morph and presentation design. Guys, have a great day and lead a happy life. Excellent slides.